welcoming another thought leader in the short message space, Monica Harris from Celebrite. Woo! Good morning. Good morning. How are you, Monica? I am doing well, Blair. Thank you. How are you? I'm so good. I feel so lucky to have you on because for so long, You've been in my inbox, on my LinkedIn, doing all of these amazing things. And when I secured the bag, as they say, with getting you on, I feel so lucky. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Um, Monica, what charity or cause will you be supporting with your Benevity gift card? Black Girls Code. Absolutely. I love that. Yes. Stellar, um, Stellar Women looks to, to make a donation mm -hmm. um, every year to Girls Who Code as well. So, yes, yes. hell yes. Absolutely. Maybe yeah. we'll match your donation. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, it's something I'm very passionate about. Live right about, here. So We're matching. <laughs> um, but Monica, I want to I want to dig right in with you because sure. ten minutes is, is not enough. But an inside scoop, Monica and I are maybe recording a podcast tomorrow. Maybe. Um, maybe. So we'll we'll hear more. But we've been hearing about Celebrate all year, and I worked with Yossi um, at Relativity Fest London, and he was yes. on stage talking about um, this integration and. Celebrate is this digital forensics leader yes. and is entering this e-discovery space through partnering with Relativity. Yes. So tell me more about that partnership. Oh, we're so excited. Well, don't call it a partnership. Oh, we'll sorry. Call it a collaboration. Yes. No, a collaboration, <laughs> a collaboration. So we're very, we're very excited about it. I think it's just an opportunity to take what, 24 years of history. So Celebrate was started in 1999. And so all of that history in digital forensics that's really been in the public sector for law enforcement, state, local, federal, and then ushering that into the private sector, corporations, yeah. service providers, all of that. Just making sure that just all of that tenure and all of that expertise, now that we've seen, I mean, I think it was really the pandemic that changed the way that we talked to each other, that changed how we worked, where we worked. And so you see more and more Short message, can, like I call it continuing message, really. That's Short, continuing is kind of the same thing, but Ooh. just taking what Celebrite does the best and bringing that into civil and the private sector. Yeah, we're pretty yeah, excited about it. And it's such an amazing collaboration because, I mean, I just think about Allison, who's been helping me. Allison Duff, everyone, please give her a follow. She's amazing, a light in my life. But Allison and I will have a meeting on Teams. Slack about it. Yes. Maybe text about it. Yes. Talk about maybe what we were looking to buy. Yes. Then revisit the conversation on Slack. Yes. And so I think about how convoluted that conversation is. Right. And then I imagine it on such a larger scale. Right. Um, and I, I think it's so funny. You you talked about like a, an escape room of e-discovery and trying right. to navigate it. Right. It's like an escape room, a game of Frogger, just in terms of how you communicate. Just e-discovery in general, that's that's a whole different ball game. I think we would need a whole different 10 minutes totally. just but, to talk about that. But you've been, you've been a relativity user for, you've since been- Since 2007, a, since 2007, yeah. yeah. I, I did a little, I did a little digging. Um, and I think it's so cool that like, you seem to be a little behind the scenes in like a product role. Yes. And now you kind of switched to being this like thought leader in the short message space and, and working with Celebrate. What's that been like? It's very exciting. It's very exciting to be at the forefront. I think it's, a, it's an area where we don't have a lot of normalization. It's new, it's emerging, and just really helping the industry kind of fold it into our norm, into our day to day. That's very exciting. Yeah, I really love it. And then um, one of my favorite Monica quotes, which I think, I think we might need it on a pillow. Nothing is certain except death, taxes, and collecting short message data. <laughs> As a technologist, I know you have a pulse on the trends. Did you see, did you foresee this explosion in short message data like even before the pandemic? I think I did. I, I do about, too. Yeah, 2017 and I was seeing data from phones. What do I do with this? I have no idea how to fold this into my workflows. And then it kept happening and then it kept happening. And then finally, you know, if the change isn't there, then you have to be the change, right? At some point- you Another have thing to, take to put on a mug. Yes, yes. Oh my gosh. So, yeah, pretty excited. I, I, I'm super excited, um, and I, I want to, what are like some of the biggest challenges that the industry is facing? Because like, you, you work a lot with our clients, so I yes. want to talk about what those challenges are and then what Celebrite's doing to solve them. I think some of the biggest challenges that we're finding, we talked about the standardization. It's a little bit of a box of chocolates or the wild, wild west when it comes to short message. I think Relativity's done an amazing job with RSMF. Um, that's really helped the way that we review, but just normalizing that, working with organizations like the EDRM, working with Relativity, and taking all of the work that we've done in the past to, and that we're doing currently, just to kind of 
make that more consistent, more predictable, defensible, sustainable, repeatable, the e-discovery favorites. I think that that's really important. That's at the top of the list for sure. The, yeah, the e-discovery favorites. I love that. <laughs> um, do you have any any predictions for the future of short message data? Mm. I know that you're a little bit of a psychic in the 2017. So you mentioned the escape room, right? So when we talk about short message, I think right now we separate the two. So there's traditional or old school data, the PST, the office, and then there's everything that comes out of cloud or your phone or chat. I think the way that you described it, when you're on a Zoom call, but then you're also talking to someone in Slack, maybe you're texting them, that whole escape room, it's all gonna come together. It's all gonna be one straight line. So it's not that we separate the different like means of communication, it's all going to be one. So I predict that at some point, short message, is, like email is just another form of continuous communication. So we're just all going to blend it together and it's that's how we're going to work with discovery. That's my prediction. It's, yeah. I, I, like, I love what you said about becoming embedded in that practice. Yes. Because when something new, like I, I always talk about like, my, I feel so bad. I'm like roasting my dad on the fest desk, um, but he just is horrible at technology. Yes. Like, I haven't been living at home for like over 10 years, and he's like, Blair, something's wrong with the remote. What did you do? And I'm like, I haven't been home in six months. Um, sure. But, you know, like, I think it's so important. Like, I could never have seen him using a smartphone. Yes. And now he's saying, hey, Google, play Radiohead. Right. You know, so I think it's like, I think there's like a really exciting momentum that like you're behind of like normalizing like and I think like kind of what Kelly was saying in the interview before like it's okay to not know the answers it is. and it's okay it to is. navigate that terrain. It's okay to say that's a great question I'll get right back to you or in e-discoveries we say it depends that could be another way. Oh I, <laughs> it depends I love I yeah I'm gonna add, I need to add that into my repertoire for sure. I would love to know, like, what do you think some of the escape, what does, like, the escape room of e-discovery look like? Can we make it at Fest next year? I think we can make it at Fest. It's like a production comes in on Friday. What, what exactly. else do you think would be on? We'll be on to the next clue, right? It's the <laughs> the e-discovery escape room will have gone through the one clue. We'll be at the next one. will be two clues down the road, but we'll still be in the escape room. <laughs> I'm excited for that. Um, can you give us like any, I, you know, I love my fast askers. They're up early with us. Can you give us any kind of like an inside scoop or a preview of what we can expect from Celebrate? Well, that's exciting. So I do think we have some very exciting things coming up in 2024. Mm, what can I give you at a high level? I mean, I don't know. I think okay. you'll just have to stay tuned. I think you'll just have to stay tuned. And then, Monica, what's the best way for people to stay tuned with Celebrate while they're at Fest and after Fest? At Fest or after Fest, I would say LinkedIn. LinkedIn social media is the best way to stay with us. Celebrate Enterprise Solutions. Awesome. And follow on LinkedIn. And then Monica will be releasing a podcast with Stellar Women. I'm so excited to so dig excited in a little bit too. more with you. Um, and then, yeah, you're, you're all over the place. I will say I get emails for Monica's webinars. Um, and so I would get on the list for that because I, I so, see those pop you. in my inbox and it's always so thank fun um, and they're just a wealth of information. So Monica hosts those. I mean, if you're at any industry event, chances are Monica's there talking about short message. So if you see her name on a speaker list, you know that you need to register for that panel. Thank you, Blair. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Awesome, Monica. Thank you so much for joining us and thank you so much for helping us navigate this new, this new future of normalization for continuous messaging or continuous short messaging? Continuous message. messaging. Thank you. Okay, Thank you. we're maybe not changing the game because I don't think Chris would love if I said it's not RSMF, but continuous <laughs> messaging. Chris, we're doing a rebrand. No. <laughs> awesome, but thank you so much, Monica, and I'm so excited to work with you more in the future. Thank you, Blair. Thank you. Appreciate it. Awesome.